Hey, how are you? Welcome back to another episode of the Jacob Sharpie Show on YouTube. I don't know why I added a Y to the end of your last name. <laughs> you can add anything on the end of there. It's spell with an E, so it's pretty stu- It's They spelt it wrong. Yeah, it's set up to be you know modified yeah exactly it's a little bit of a prank i pull on people is to add the extra the e in there uh and happy monday yeah yeah that's the day it is that's your thing right and that's my thing happy monday there is a it's a doozy and we got heaps of nuggets in here right nick yes yes Yes. We got heaps and heaps of nuggets in this video and there's going to be heaps of them nick and i we went to the chicken store and we said we need we need as much nuggets as you got we promised them nuggets yeah even though nick's allergic and they said we're genuinely worried about you and your health and i said well we said fuck you we're gonna have nuggets you said as long as they're not green yeah and then yeah nuggets by jacob andrew sharp these nuggets are not green these nuggets these nuggets and if you like the internet then you're gonna love this episode of youtube we're back we're both we're both back, back <laughs> on my channel as we are usually <laughs> we're back we both have backs do you ever like do collabs and you're like fuck uh, when you're doing it like remotely you're just like well i just gotta plug in too much shit yeah it's a lot of moving pieces there's a like the amount of cameras that we have going just to like mm -hmm. put a bunch of crash zooms over it it's not the way god intended no, videos to no. be but but today we kill god today we are god nick is god he is not green but he is god how does it get annoying when people uh constantly make fun of the nick is not green thing <laughs> listen i'm you're asking me after you just did it so i'm like i know yeah i was like this isn't original but it's probably said to you every fucking day and and every time i stream it's like new message from chatter are you green Bruh. oh my god blah 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 and i'm like hey welcome to chat and then i don't acknowledge Knowledge of the joke. Well, I'm fucking. I'm sorry. Whoops. Yeah, video's off to a great start. Video's off to a great start. Today, we're gonna look at uh, some bad TV. I thought we would get a good take on specifically CW shows. Oh, the best. Taking our childhood, putting abs and cum all mm -hmm. over it, and uh, that's what we really needed. So I've been asking for. And then I want to take a look at the CW's newest venture. The live action Powerpuff Girls leaked script. Did you ever watch like Winx Club or Sabrina the Teenage Witch as a kid or like? Maybe I'm too young. I mean, it was on TV when I was a kid, but I just, I was into the, into the cartoons. Okay, you're a toon kid. I was a toon kid. I loved Cartoon Network, but you know, the CW though, I mean, great content in the past years. I was really into the Flash. Flash was great. They had Green Arrow. That was another pretty good show for a little bit. Yeah, my dad really likes that show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a dad show. My dad is like a huge TV guy and like he's always looking for a new TV show. And one day I came home, you'd expect this to be in 2014. This was about two months ago. And he was like, I'm starting this new show my friend recommended me. It's called like Arrow or whatever. And I was like, and he's like, there's like nine seasons. And I was like, dad, you don't want to get into this. I was like, you know how many shows are out there? Like just watch something else. I got like two seasons in and I was like, okay, like I get it. He like shoots arrows. And that's the show. It makes sense. <laughs> I did not expect the demographic for CW to be your dad. Yeah. <laughs> but I really like that. I really like that he was like, I'm in. Yeah. I think his friend says okay. one thing about a show and he like watches eight seasons of it. So. And that's the thing. I think grown men are just so gullible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you could just recommend anything to a grown man and they'll do it. The other thing I wanted to talk about, like really dive into is like binge TV shows, because I guess like CW does make like a lot of kind of bingeable TV shows like they made Riverdale. I think they were part of making the Winx Club live action. And then also Sabrina, I think, is another one as well, which are like a bunch of shows that aren't very good. But there's so much of it that you can just like get lost in it and kind of turn your brain off. You have like one of those shows where like it's not great, but like you always watch it. I'm not I'm not a TV person in general. When I was in high school, I was like obsessed with The Walking Dead. And I was like so into it. And then like my favorite character died and I just 
stopped watching the episode right after that so mine is usually pokemon which is a weird one and i just found out are do you do you have anxiety this is pers too personal probably <laughs> you have anxiety this is whoops too personal right away yeah. uh do you have ang do you have anxiety or anything like that yeah I, yeah i got a tad bit tad bit you got a wiggly <laughs> spine and you you don't feel so good sometimes yeah <laughs> i gotta <laughs> gotta bring the desk up and uh once i start getting anxious my whole every my whole camera setup starts shaking around now yeah now your camera's stressed out because they're like what the fuck's going on with this desk yeah this isn't supposed to move my therapist just told me that uh if you like rewatch the same things over and over again and like you said like you're you're weary about watching new shows they say it's like typically you have like higher anxiety if you like resort to like stuff you know because tv shows that you don't know too scary even if it's not like a horror or like sci-fi show that's just too the idea of not knowing what could happen is too scary you know exactly it's scarier than the walking dead you know what i mean there brother yeah oh yeah have you watched riverdale i have not i've seen scenes from it of course but you know i've never gotten into it they took a comic book they put in cole sprouse they gave archie abs and then they made a season where there's like a maple syrup factory that's a front for meth oh <laughs> You remember you remember those classic comic books that you would get at the grocery store where it's all about meth? What does my father have planned for Riverdale? Speak or it gets the syrup again. <sighs> I don't watch these shows but uh Eilish my girlfriend watches them mm -hmm. and I'll peek in every once in a while see what the riverdale gang is up to it's getting pretty hot and steamy there's lots of murder and uh one episode there's a whole storyline where archie gets attacked by a bear and lives i'm talking about how you stormed out of the speakeasy like a little bitch andrews bro i'm warning you you don't want to start with me dude what the hell happened how'd you get those scars i was attacked by a bear what? Cast has said in like multiple interviews that they straight up don't like the writing of the show. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. I'll share it with you. I can screen share in here, right? Senior year. Cool. Yeah. We're it's our senior year, obviously, yeah. and we're gonna really lean into that with like football games and big house parties and so kind wait, of returning normal, to where a like normal a senior like a year. Normal high school, no. can you believe? As normal as Riverdale will ever get. <laughs> all the twists and turns. So uncomfortable. Is that is that when you say grown to love? Is that something that you? I mean, your hair is on fleek right now. People are very Aww. jealous. Very <laughs> jealous. Um, what a good interview. Oh yeah, it's flawless. It seems like such a natural flowing conversation. Is on fleek right now. People are very. That was also so uncomfortable where she was just like, "It's as normal as Riverdale will ever get." And everyone's like, "You're." Awesome. <laughs> You're not supposed to talk. Oh, don't say that. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> Sniper Dot is like. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's there's a writer who's like she's getting killed off next episode for sure. <laughs> Starting to get confused about what the show's about. Is it about a high school? So funny enough, it is about a high school. It's a normal it? high school. No. Can you believe? So I have a question. Is there's a character named Jughead? So yeah, there's a character named Jughead. Uh who's played by Cole Sprouse from Zack and Cody. I think he played Cody. And if you remember from the comic book, he's famous for eating lots of cheeseburgers. That's kind of his peak in his character arc in the comic books. Uh -huh. So wait, is this the comic Archie, like the comic? Archie, the Archie comics. You, like, okay. Remember like the ones like so, in the grocery store where like- So that and Riverdale is the same thing. Yeah, well that's the name of their school. And like, it's all the same characters, but now they just all fuck. Okay and do drugs. See, so yeah, yeah, I always thought that like the redheaded Archie thing was just a coincidence and Riverdale was based off of like, s like high school sex comic book that like I didn't know about called Riverdale. <laughs> I didn't realize it was just the Archie comics. Like the ones for children. Why? Who's it for? Who's the show for? <laughs> hey buddy. You <laughs> you and that's why we're here. Just quickly though, I bl I'm glad you brought up Jughead because Jughead uh, dies multiple times in the show and comes back he to life. He died. He dies multiple times? Like more than once, you know? multiple wow okay <laughs> oh, and it's gotten to the point where like he's the leader of the serpent gang 
Okay, I'm Which starting. Like an, once my girlfriend comes over dude, and I finish recording this, I'm starting this show. Dude, yes, you have to start this show. So he died. He came back as like a, some kind of snake god guy. He's the serpent king. His dad used to be the leader of this gang, and then he becomes the leader of this gang. Some 60 years ago, the very first serpent meeting took place on these same riverbanks. It makes sense that this is where we gather now, where I... Where I say my goodbye. Jughead, would you step up here, son? I'm retiring from the serpents. My boy has never stopped fighting for this crew. Hell, he almost died for it. That's why I'm giving you the mantle. All I can say is, I love you, Dad. There's also a character named Hot Dog. So, why not? <laughs> you know? Why not? Because it's based off the comic book still. Yeah, so it's like all this goofy so, <laughs> kid stuff. And, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, like, hot dog. It's, it's, if you're going to make it like this, like, one, don't make it a high school. Yeah, it's also a high school. If you're going to go that far away from, like, the source material, why bring in hot dog? You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Like, why? <laughs> Like you have a Why you guys, Like if we're gonna keep it consistent, we gotta have hot dog in it. It's <laughs> not. It's not Riverdale without hot dog. <laughs> but then they bring in some serpent gang. Sure, we have Jughead and the Serpent Gang. But if we got, if we don't got hot dog. We don't got a show. Is the Serpent Gang part of the com? No. God, God no. <laughs> The, the, dude, the comic books are basically teenagers eating cheeseburgers. Like, that's the whole comic. Here, I'll show you another thing, another uh, interview. They just look so, like, bummed out that they even have to talk about the show. <laughs> like, none of them look very, like, stoked to be there. All right. So, yeah, here's another interview where they just, like, it's... It sucks. I, I think it's the dilemma has always been how how much do you break the universe by including a new character? And yeah. I, I think I, I I mean I think considering one of the main villains of last season was a bottle of maple syrup, I I think like I think, it's a wide universe. But but here's what's tricky is that this is a show that knows the camp it sells that we we understand the sort of genres that we're fitting into and how to appeal to that audience but everyone in the universe takes it super seriously the yeah. it's yeah. Yeah. it's not a joke it's the dark knight it's yeah, yeah it's super serious like uh, what's in the maple syrup yeah <laughs> you know so it it becomes just has no problem being like the show is not good that's the classiest way you can explain the fact that it's just like not a good show just making fun of that we all have to take this really seriously and then to have the rest of the cast laugh when he <laughs> says it, yeah like, yeah man this fucking sucks <laughs> yeah i just have to say it is Cole Sprouse wearing a doily? Yeah, I'm not sure what the... It's like a coffee... The freaking thing, the coffee filter thing that looks like a... I think it's called a doily, isn't it? A doily? How do you spell that? Doily. Just go phonetically, I think. Just. Oh, I think you're right, yeah. A doily. That's what they're called. Epic doily moment. Bruh. Doily. But yeah, man, so uh, I think that's a prime example of kind of what CW is all about. I think I sent you the link to the script. I've got it up. Now, did you ever watch Pow the Powerpuff Girls as a kid? Yeah, I did a fair amount. Um, you know, I know like the main, all the main characters, but um, I was never like a super fan or anything. I know Mojo Jojo, the hot dad. I'm glad you brought up the hot dad. Because he gets uh, even hotter. Oh, no. The name for the dad now is Drake. <laughs> what? Yeah, Drake Utonium. So he's like, got an even sexier name. Do we know who was going to play him? It's supposed to be Donald Fison. Well, I know that m the, the majority of the cast actually backed out. <laughs> like, Chloe Bennett was supposed to play Blossom. She backed out. Do you know Tom Kenny? Like, the voice of SpongeBob? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was going to be the narrator. I don't want to hear him read some of these lines, you know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he, he does either. And, yeah, the, is the show not happening anymore? Or is it just taking... It's getting reworked. 
uh, Vanity Fair like put out an article about how it got it's getting reworked because it was too campy. It basically what it should say is t Twitter bullies adults out of bad idea. Like <laughs> Twitter just did what Twitter does best and they shit on something and now it's not happening. Yeah, I, I only got the tweets that had like a couple screenshots of it. I never really read into all of it. But yeah, I did see a few things that surprised me. Like it was obviously written by a bunch of like 35 year olds who are still like online like too much. It was written by a bunch of 35 year olds who try to use the word chuggy. <laughs> yeah. So the script starts like it starts kind of back in the day They're like fighting crime and they've given the dad this kind of like pushing the fame on the girls kind of Uh-huh. There's a line where he literally says stick to the character Bible girls There's just so much shit like that where I'm like, well, it's just too self-aware right away He just wants to get rich off of these uh, off of his kids after all this stuff Their, their dad kind of like runs them down They don't want to be superheroes anymore and they split up and now the girls are getting back together because they're trust they can finally get their trust funds because they're now 25 okay and now buttercup and bubbles are in a car together with bubbles is like producer i guess named ace who films everything she does now because fun fact bubbles is now a recovering addict <laughs> Right? <laughs> Dude, why? The, they took the cute they took the cutest one, the cutest yeah. character that's like sweet, and they just make one too many jokes about her relapsing. You remember our childhood, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I remember it. It's going away, but <laughs> Mojo Jojo isn't a monkey. He's uh, he was partner of Drake Utonium, and he helped create Chem X, which created the girls. Blossom straight up murders Mojo in like the first like couple pages when they were kids. And then uh, his son, Jojo, becomes the mayor of Townsville and like seeks revenge against the Powerpuff Girls. Is his son just like a guy? Like, cause they're just humans? Yeah, they're just guys. <laughs> they're just like, there's just Mojo and Jojo. And more, I was like kind of excited to see like what they were gonna do with Mojo Jojo, him being like, a monkey. A monkey with like a, an exposed brain and like I was like yeah. that might be cool. Ah uh, yeah, if you've ever seen the CW's like visual effects department, <laughs> I feel like it's smart to say they should have stayed away from the guy who plays jojo is gonna be like way too attractive <laughs> yeah like, he's gonna have like way too nice of a jawline yeah i want to see if we know who those people are oh it's nicholas but yeah it's a hot guy hot guy <laughs> <laughs> white like mid-20s guy that has nice hair just a guy with a decent jaw and probably a pretty cool stomach so this is the girls are coming back to townsville uh, it's just buttercup and bubbles bubbles buttercup and ace ride in the back of an uber <laughs> They pass the old Welcome to Townsville billboard, which now says Jojo Mondell, mayor, with a smiling photo of Jojo. I've never been to a town ever that has the mayor like, welcome. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen just a photo of the mayor welcoming you to a town. Say, say Jojo sent you. Yeah. So Mojo's son is the mayor now. Remember what a huge crush he had on Blossom? Weird kid. Hey, you know who we should go see while we're here? Sarah, she was always so great to us. Dad blew that one. Has he been dating lately, do you know? Just rando hookups. That's a normal thing to say about your dad. <laughs> you know, science groupies, beaker bunnies, nearsighted hoes, mainly. Whoa. This was going to be a show. I don't think I've ever seen the line nearsighted hoes, nor did I expect to. The car turns onto their childhood street. I can't believe Blossom is coming. Probably only because dad made it mandatory for us to access the trusts. What are you going to do with the money? Buy a little cabin? Rescue a few schnoodles? Or doodles? Are those dogs? <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, buddy. I don't think anyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was written by a robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm... I'm not a total cliche. I'm going to have chickens too. Suddenly they look out the window, alarmed. What the fu- Z Lumpkins? <laughs> now, <laughs> you delivered it exactly the way I think it was meant to be delivered. Was this written by like me in third grade? When I was like... For sure, right? What the fudge? 
But yeah, what do, what's your first impression? I can already like tell what this show would look like. I feel like it looked like the like Spy Kids movies looked where it was that weird like lack of focus and everything is like this like uncanny valley looking porn set of a TV show. Well, here I'll show you really quickly the act what it actually was going to look like because they filmed the pilot and then they scrapped it. Oh, they filmed it. So this is a screenshot from like those are the outfits. This is like, literally like a last second like Halloween costume. Buttercup have different socks than the other. Like what? <laughs> I'm like looking at the, I'm looking at like photos of the show and like, I was like, maybe it's a design thing, but like they have the same outfit. Yeah, like it's not a cohesive like execution. Buttercup socks are like the same socks that the N like that the NBA had in like the 70s. So uh, I want to move on to our next scene here. And this is a little uh, exposition on JoJo. I think you could be a decent JoJo. Jojo. Okay, yeah, I, I can try Jojo, yeah. Uh, and then do you want to, I'll do the, the stage direction. Do you want to do the narrator? Sure, yeah. God bless you, Tom Kenny. I, I know I won't do it as well as you would have. Well, hey, we're going to say Tom Kenny, do not do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay out of this. <laughs> Jojo, now also in his 20s, sits in a well-appointed office. A plaque on his desk reads, Jojo Modell, mayor of Townsville. He reads through a report in front of his secretary, Gina. He has a pet monkey sitting on his desk. Now, I think the pet monkey is supposed to be an homage to Mojo Jojo. Yeah. That is kind of like an evil guy thing to have like a weird animal kicking around. This is just uh, initial polling data. You've got time to pull ahead. Unlike our prodigal power puffs, Mojo's son, Jojo, stayed in Townsville. Indeed, his loyalty and dedication to the city had carried him all the way to public office. He was the youngest person ever elected mayor of Townsville. Unfortunately for him, a second term looks unlikely. I've delivered on everything I promised, except free gelato Fridays, and that's only because the perfect scoop turned out to be a front for meth trafficking. <laughs> Why? They already did this. <laughs> they did this in their other show. <laughs> more meth, huh? That's what yeah. all of our childhoods needed is more meth. Yeah, was that necessary? This sounds like a show that was written by kids in high school learning how to screen write and wants to include like all the Zoomer humor that they can. Yeah, I miss their pistachio. Okay, so Gina does meth, I guess. Alessia Lawrence has no experience. She's impulsive and reactionary. She's exciting. You mean she's not a white man? Mmm, no. You know, you hear about reverse discrimination, but until it happens to you, no offense, you totally earned your position. Optics don't hurt, though. Okay. There's one thing people love more than virtue signaling, Gina. Uh, frozen desserts of Italian origin? No, security, safety, and I can provide that. <laughs> Jojo feeds his monkey a tree. <laughs> <laughs> just in the background wailing <laughs> freaking out <laughs> just like smacking. like having a total freak like because it's a wild monkey <laughs> like without like any like indication that he should be doing that the monkey's in the background <laughs> just like smack like, like on a chair just <laughs> Uh, okay, so Jojo feeds his monkey a treat. <laughs> With all due respect, Mr. Mayor, Townsville is a candy-colored bubble of privilege and comfort. Ever since the creature attack stopped, we're one of America's safest cities. I don't think people are voting from a place of fear. What about my pet monkey? That was meaningful in the last election. Post Harambe? It's 2021. <laughs> What's the next joke gonna be? Are you guys gonna make fun of like fidget spinners? Yeah, are they gonna be like, damn, Daniel, back at it again with, with your pet monkey in the meth. I need to read through all this. Go ahead and knock off for, go ahead and knock off for lunch. See, they have no problem saying like meth or like bring up like more adult themes, but then they say stuff like knock off. Yeah, go ahead and knock off. This is like what people think uh, people talked like in the 50s. <laughs> yeah, like the, but that's really how the actual like cartoon was. Go ahead and knock off at lunch. All right, hey, yeah, should we do the rest of the script like that then? One more thing. The Powerpuff Girls are coming to town tomorrow. Tomorrow? All three? Just for the weekend. The Gazette called, asking for a comment. Tell Frank I said no comment. That'll be all. It actually is a bit better. <laughs> Gina nods, exits. As Jojo mulls all, all of this over, his monkey screeches. 
Okay. He's just. We got. He's trying to read the Gazette. And his monkey's just like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> he's like going absolute like, for lack of a better term, ape shit. Uh, he picks up his cell, pulls up a contract, short stack, uh, hesitates for a moment, and then dials. I need you. <laughs> it's like so intense, and he just goes. I need you. Oh my God. Ted, this is just a really quick scene. Interior Powerpuff Girls home, hallway, Buttercup's room, day. Blossom heads upstairs where the bumping sound continues from Buttercup's room, then abruptly stops. Blossom opens the door and finds Buttercup in bed with Macy, the woman she eyed at the bar from the night before. They've just finished they've just finished wow why <laughs> yeah yep why oh god i'm sorry it's fine it's fine we're done right i'd say six times is enough bubbles and drake enter <laughs> this is literally <laughs> i'm reading a porn the whole family <laughs> this is porn bubbles and drake enter on blossom's heels guys no it's fine i'm not remotely ashamed i'm Getting my life, people. I think that's supposed to be I'm just living my life. Yeah, what does that mean? I'm just getting my life. Knock off for lunch, getting my life. Normal things people say. I, I like how in the show notes it says they've just finished in quotes as if like they can't say anything, like as if that shows up in the show. Like I think it'd be funny if they were just completely uncensored in the show notes and they're like, they just finished making each other calm in bed. They just had six orgasms in a row and they had dirt dirty fucking crazy sex <laughs> yeah after after covering each other with piss shit and jizz yeah <laughs> the whole family walks in one of the writers on the script's name i noticed was diablo cody yeah which it isn't a name if the devil was to have a son like a shitty son it would be diablo cody <laughs> <laughs> how clean your room diablo cody Go to page 20 and 21. I know we're going back and forth here. This is the girls hungover. Interior Powerpuff Girls home kitchen floor. Later. <laughs> Blossoms out cold. Bubbles and Buttercup hover over her. Bloss, wake up. Or... <sighs> Or we'll leak your nudes everywhere. Off Bubbles confusion. That worked on you once. That line makes me so sad. Like, and I didn't want to know that one Bubbles had nudes. And I also didn't want to know that the, her sisters are so willing to leak them. And they have access to them. <laughs> yeah, they have them on their phones. Like, that's horrible. I'm going to expose my sibling's naked body. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, hey, uh... You don't, don't? Also, how? <laughs> what sucks is that, like, even though the script is full of exposition, there's not really, like, a clear plot line. Uh, and that's the show, dude. I mean, I would be lying if I said, wish it didn't come out. Because uh, just imagine the memes that would have come out of that. I'm kind of bummed that we got a hold of this and we just have to read it. Like, I absolutely would have liked to watch it. It would have been a lot easier on us making this, so we didn't have to <laughs> yeah we didn't have to read it ourselves because we, it's only it's left up to our imagination now this is like lost in the ether of the internet now yeah it's up to some fans to hopefully recreate it one day some fans like you and i get the green screens out hey cw if you guys are watching uh you give us give nick and i a ring-a-ding you know i would absolutely act or do whatever you guys can pay me nothing i'll do it pro bono i'll do it i'll do it for my high school hours like i'm i'm in we will act or we will direct we'll pull it like a quentin tarantino and we'll put ourselves in the show but only as the monkey <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll we'll have a motion capture yeah. suit on and just ah, smack ah. <laughs> yeah we're just going berserk on the desk <laughs> And that's our that's our true and artistic endeavor. Uh, so before we go though, I wanted I I I did write a script for us uh, for like us. Uh, I think that okay. we could pitch yeah. this to CW as like a as like a sexy SpongeBob spinoff. Oh wow! Oh okay. I literally that's funny that we made that joke. <laughs> okay, so uh, it's called Robert Square. <laughs> Because I imagine if they were going to reimagine him as like a brooding, like, you know, sexy lead, yeah. he would he would be called Robert. I was thinking you would play Robert because I think you you've got that kind of like, you know, a uh, young gun look you got. I sort of have like the outfit too, my bikini bottom hat. Yeah, you <laughs> or the crusty crab. Crusty Crab. 
Also, when you told me it was called Robert Square, I spilled a bunch of water all over myself and you can't see it on the webcam, but you can totally see it on the main camera. And so I was just sort of like staring at myself, like if I don't address this, every comment's gonna be about how I just have water just down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, yeah. Okay, it looks like you got a boner and then started pissing up. Uh-huh, that, yeah, definitely. That's boner piss right there. This is just a, qu it's a quick little scene between Sandy and SpongeBob. I'll, I'll do the, the, the the, the screen direction and I'll play Sandy. Okay, cool. So you just you just get into character and be that brooding, sexy jawline guy. Bruh. Okay. Interior, Robert's pineapple-shaped house. Day. Open on Robert, a well-dressed man in his early 20s. Though his skin might be porous and yellow, he, he is still striking and considered to be one of the most sought-after man <laughs> in Bikini Bottom. Uh, Robert is at his desk manic scribbling notes over a face of his beloved friend patrick crumpled balls of paper covered the ground of his already messy apartment most of them reading squid killed pat over and over again two weeks since bikini bottom fell into chaos one week since i was fired by mr k for getting caught snorting jelly jam on shift <laughs> And one day, since losing my best friend, I know I'll find Patrick's killer. I know they're still out there, and soon I'll show them not to mess with the Goober Gang King. His phone rings. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sponge, it's me, Sandy. Sandy, I thought I told you never to call me by that name. Besides, shouldn't you be hanging out with that new barnacle-brained boyfriend of yours? Don't be like that, Sponge. Squid is a good guy at heart. Yeah. I bet you're dating him for his heart. Maybe you forgot that he murdered my best friend. You're so predictable. You know that wasn't him. No one knows what happened that night. Listen, Sponge, I'm not calling you because I wanted to be shamed. I get enough of that from my incel stepdad back home in Texas. <laughs> I just wanted to call you because I heard Mr. K has a hit out on you. Apparently he heard about you and Pearl and he wants you dead. I'm not scared of that scared little crab. Just be careful, Sponge. I got I gotta go. Squid will be home soon. I I miss you. I miss you too, Sandy. You make me squirrely. Hey Sandy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sponge. Sandy and Robert hang up the phone, both dramatically turn and clench their bottom lip to let the audience know that they're somehow upset and horny at the same time. Finn, lol. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. Wow. Well, there and there's my there's my pitch, you know? That goes to show that just anyone can write a script like that. I guess I, the one thing I forgot was math. Yeah, I guess so. Um, at least we know Tom Kenny would be up for it. So yeah, listen up, Tom. If you're watching this, you you come work for uh, for Nick and Jake, okay? We'll make you a star. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far, and I hope you're enjoying all the nuggets. Are you sick of logging onto the web, inputting all of your personal information, just to have a bunch of hackers put their sticky fingers all over it? Well, those days are behind you, thanks to today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN has been rated the top VPN provider by websites like CNET.com, The Verge, and so many more. I love using ExpressVPN because it gives me so much much peace of mind knowing that I'm safe and secure while doing my favorite things online. And some of you might be thinking, well what the heck Jacob, I'm no computer wizard. I don't know the difference between a floppy disk and a mainframe. Don't worry, you don't gotta be no tech mogul. ExpressVPN is so easy to use that even a ding dong like me can figure it out. When you're using your phone, tablet, laptop, etc. on unencrypted Wi-Fi networks, you are putting your personal information at risk to things like large corporations, websites, and even the government who will use your information for their own personal benefit. But ExpressVPN uses their top-of-the-line encryption services that creates a secure tunnel to protect your information from third-party hackers. Sorry, hackers, that's my information, and you can't have it. The internet can be a dangerous place, but that is a thing of the past thanks to ExpressVPN. But hey, not only does ExpressVPN offer the best security while you're doing things like online shopping, they also open up a world of new content that is right at your fingertips. That's right, ExpressVPN 
Bitcoin can change your IP address location and replace it with one of their own with just one click. With servers in 94 different countries, the options are endless, guys. I know I'm out of things to watch on Netflix, so that's why I want to go check out what's going on on Japan's Netflix. I love using ExpressVPN, whether it's for security or just to watch my favorite shows. So go check them out and go click the link down in my bio, expressvpn.com slash nuggets to find out how you can get three free months with ExpressVPN. Thank you for sponsoring this video, ExpressVPN, and thanks for the nuggets. Now, back to the YouTube video. I feel tired. Well, that's the video. Uh, make sure that you uh, like and subscribe to the channel. N Nick is uh, probably the king, of, uh, the king of the internet. You can check out Nick on his channel, Nick is not green. You can also check him out on his second channel, Green is not oh, Nick. True fan. Uh, you can also go check him out on Twitch, uh, and you can also check Nick out uh, on Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff. Thanks for being on, man. Thanks for doing this with me. So sorry that the first time we hung out, we did this. Yeah, it was a weird, it was a weird hangout, but hey, I'll take it. How, how do we do the bye? It's like a three, two, one. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, okay. bye. bye. That's the video. We did it.